Hi everyone, welcome back here to the channel. In today's video, I'd like to talk to you about how much lawyers charge. Now guys, there's a few exceptions to this, but for the most part, all over the world, lawyers charge per hour. We call it the billable hour. Now what you can expect, right, is when you've got a legal problem and you go see a lawyer, that lawyer will have an hourly rate and your legal problem is gonna take a certain amount of time to resolve. Let's say the hourly rate is $200 per hour, and let's say your legal problem takes 10 hours to resolve, then you can expect your lawyer's fee to be $2,000 for helping you in that case. Now, guys, that is generally speaking how all lawyers approach the issue of fees. Now, the purpose of this video is to highlight five things that's likely to influence how much your lawyer charges per hour. And these five things are the following. One, location. Two, size of the firm. Three, level of seniority. Four, specialized areas of law. And number five, in my view, should be the most important one, but we leave that one right until the end. Now let's deal with number one first, guys, location. Now, there's two things when we refer to the location. Let's deal first with the obvious one, and that is the country that your lawyer is based in. Let's say, for example, you're dealing with a lawyer based in South Africa and a lawyer based in the United States. Now, in South Africa, you've got the South African rand, so your lawyer here is likely to charge you in rands. In the United States, you have obviously US dollar. So if you're working with a lawyer there, that lawyer is likely to charge you in US dollars. Now, the exchange rate between the South African rand and the US dollar for the moment is one to 18. So for every $1, you need 18 rands. So therefore you can expect if your lawyer is based in the USA, that lawyer is likely to charge more per hour than the lawyer that's based in South Africa. Now guys, the second element to location is big city versus small town. Lawyers that's based in the big city normally charge more per hour than lawyers that's based in small towns. And this brings me to the second uh, factor, which is the size of the firm. Just like in the big cities, guys, lawyers who are based in the bigger firms is gonna charge more per hour than lawyers that's based in smaller firms. That's number two. Let's now move straight on to number three, the third factor that will influence, that's likely to influence how much your lawyer will charge you per hour. And this is seniority. Now guys, as you can expect, if you are dealing with a lawyer that's been around the block for let's say 20 years, you can expect that that lawyer is gonna cost you more per hour than the lawyer that's been around for maybe one or two years because obviously that lawyer brings much more to the table than the more junior one. So the more senior the lawyer, the more you can expect to pay per hour and vice versa. Now that brings me then to the fourth one, guys, which is specialized areas of law. Guys, certain areas of law are just specialized in nature. And if you are dealing with attorneys in those areas, let's say like maritime or shipping law or aviation, uh, if you are dealing with lawyers in those areas of law, generally speaking, they will cost you more per hour than a lawyer that deal, that deal with more general uh, issues or uh, in general areas of law. Now, guys, this brings me then to my fifth and final one, which in my view should be the most important determining factor of how much you pay your lawyer per hour. And that is results, guys. Or you could also say value. Now, at the end of the day, you must be happy with the results or the value that you are getting for the money that you are paying per hour. And if the answer to that is uh, yes, you are, then obviously great. But if the answer is no, then it might be time for you to find a new lawyer. Very important, guys. Now, guys, that brings me then to the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found some value in it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you back here next time. And until then, take care and cheers for now.